Hello guys, Neopet Times here, welcome to a new video and in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix your problems if you're having trouble um, connecting the MagSafe wallet uh, to find my So this is the new MagSafe wallet with Find My integration. It was announced alongside the iPhone 13 lineup. And um, yeah, I got it right before I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, you can see the unboxing for it here actually, somewhere. And yeah, it's wonderful because it connects magnetically to the iPhone and it will pair with Find My. So you will have the option to know if it has been detached from it and get the latest location. Furthermore, you can um, add your phone number so someone can call you in case they find it. However, that's very nice when it works. Um, when I first got it and got the iPhone, it didn't work. I wasn't able to pair it with Find My. I got this message here. And yes, it was a nightmare. I was in touch with Apple so many times like at the very least 10 uh, counting times I went with support, times I went to the office, they say they would call me, they never called me back, then I called again. It was a huge nightmare. So I am going to save you all that trouble by telling you the steps that I got um, when I called. Follow uh, step by step, what can you do from less annoying to most annoying? Because some of them are really annoying. One of them, the last, the very last of them, spoiler alert, <laughs> is resetting your phone, so that can be very annoying. But anyway, we'll go step by step to see what you can do if it doesn't work and try to fix it. Okay, so step number one is uh, checking if you have the latest iOS version. And that's very simple. You just need to go to settings, general software update, and there wait for it to load. And if it doesn't, then it's not. Here you can see that I am not in the latest update. So the next step, uh, if that didn't work and you didn't get the animation to add it to wallet, uh, then what you have to do is to go to the Find My App. There you will see a plus button where you can um, add MagSafe accessories. Now, if you have a MagSafe case, it should recognize it and add the wallet. However, just to be sure, uh, take the case off if it doesn't work and try only with the case. If that didn't solve the problem, then restart your iPhone like you normally would. Turn it off just by pressing uh, volume up and power for a few seconds. And then try again the last step by going to find my and everything. The next step that you can take now is to try the wallet in some other iPhone. Um, whether it's a friend or if you have the opportunity to go to the Apple Store or something. Now, all the Apple Store and Store X like units that you will see in any store are running a different version of iOS that's the demo version so it's just specifically designed for demoing iPhones at the Apple Store however I found it still works but it might be because of that so if you can try it on a friend's iPhone that's like a normal consumer iPhone that's perfect if not you can just try it there next is to force restart your iPhone now this is just to like shut the iPhone in like the just for restart it basically so it will not delete any content or anything it will just like shut any processes that are happening and kind of force it to turn off and restart to do that on the iphone 12 and 13 what you have to do is uh hold so press up press down so press volume up press volume down and then hold the power button for a few seconds maybe with about 10 or something until you get an apple logo on the screen then when you guys, once you get the Apple logo, you can release all buttons and wait for it to power on. If still that didn't solve it, then we're starting to get into the invasive methods. The first one is to reset all settings in your iPhone. So to do that, go to settings, um, general, transfer or reset iPhone, click reset, and then reset all settings. Now, oops, I don't want to reset my setting, thank you. <laughs> now, this will not delete any content from your iPhone, but it will still be annoying. So it will, first of all, reset your uh, wallpapers. It will reset all your iPhone settings. So if you have changed anything in settings, it will reset it. Um, it will also reset individual app settings. So for example, if you have allowed notifications from one app, 
that will also be lost and some other things it can be very annoying but it can eventually get the problem solved so might as well give it a try then if this still didn't solve it is the worst one it is um resetting the whole iphone now take a backup uh make a backup of your iphone before doing this because all the content in your iphone will be erased it will just be like a new iphone so you can do this straight from the iphone or from itunes just recommend straight from the iphone so just like before go to uh general settings general uh, reset or transfer iphone or something like that and then just press reset and then under reset you have reset or settings or something like that again be sure to do a backup or before it's doing that because it will delete every single thing you have in your iphone photos um apps videos anything but yeah this is everything that we can do if you still didn't solve the problem then you should get in touch with apple um and eventually probably get a new iphone that's what i had to do none of this solved it apple didn't know why maybe it was a software issue but they didn't know at the time so i just had to get a brand new iphone um yeah i got a brand new iphone uh, so i basically got a replacement one which for me, they said it's brand new because the iPhone was just released. But if you're doing this further down the line, maybe a year after release or even six months, maybe you might get a refurbished iPhone, which is not ideal, but anyway. But yeah, other things that they might ask you and you should consider is, is Apple Pay working on your iPhone? Cause that uses NFC and that um, chip from your iPhone that detects the wallet is an NFC chip. So just to check that it is uh, the NFC chip is working, then they will also run diagnostics that only they can run. So it's nothing we can do by ourselves. And then another important aspect is whether it shows this animation when connecting it. So this one, my wallet showed this animation, but it didn't get the find my, like the AirPods like animation of the wallet turning and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be everything for this video. It was actually longer than I expected. I hope it helped you. If not, yeah, get in touch with Apple. They should solve it. And yeah, if it still didn't help you, please uh, let me know in the comments down below. So this wallet is brand new. When I did it, this was brand new. So maybe in a few months, more people will have the issue and Apple will come up with other things to try and they might tell you if you contact them. So please come back to this video and leave it down below in the comments so we can help other users. Again, if it didn't work for you, maybe check out the comments to see if someone has gotten in touch with Apple and they told him a different method that you can try. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.